How's it going guys? My name is Marco. Welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to talk about speed reading. What is it? What is speed reading? Basically, it's learning how to read faster, but not just reading faster, but having a comprehension level which is even better than the average people. So normally people like read 150 words per um, minute. And it's pretty slow. Once you learn those techniques on how to speed read, to read a little bit, little bit faster, there are certain techniques that you can learn. And then you make a little bit of practice, then you can reach even five, seven, eight hundreds words per minute with a comprehension level that it's even higher. So I spent the last three weeks uh, having this course on Skillshare. If you want to use Skillshare, it's an awesome website where you can learn anything. I'll leave down the, in the link in the description if you want to try it. And there's this speed reading course, which was very helpful for me. And I took some notes on the exercises and on all the techniques that I used and tried. And I tried to apply everything as I was learning to a book. And normally it takes for me more than one month to read a book, study it, and also take notes because I take notes on every book that I read. For example, the last book, The Millionaire Fast Lane, I also had to graduate, etc. It took me three months to read it completely. Now I try to apply everything on this book. I see your name everywhere. It helps you to uh, leverage the power of the media to grow your fame, wealth, and success. Okay, I mean, it's not that big. It's 180 pages, but I spent just one week to read, study, and take notes on every chapter. Just one week. So it's incredible. I'm so happy to have learned this technique and I think anybody should learn this technique. So I want to start telling you everything that I learned. But remember, before studying, uh, remember that first you need to exercise so you need to, it's not something that you learn and then it's, okay, now I can speed read. Second, it's not something that is always the best option. Speed reading is awesome and is necessary maybe when you uh, know the topic of the content or it's something that you want to reread or I don't know, it's a book that you want just to finish. Uh, but if you have to study or if you have to study for an exam, there are certain other ways to learn how to speed read, how to study them. For example, active reading, which is taking notes, highlighting, rereading, etc. But speed reading could be helpful, for example, for a second lecture or to uh, remember the things faster. So, and everything that you will learn will also increase what you read normally. So let me tell you the tips. So. Let's go with the first one. The first one, you use a pointer. Your eyes will follow naturally the things that um, move. So if you use your index or one of your fingers, or for example, a pen to read, then you'll, learn, you'll read so much faster because you will not focus on reading every single word, but just focusing on reading uh, the sentence. So you keep going faster and faster with your index or with a piece of paper or with a pen and you learn how to read faster. The second one is reduce sub-vocalization. What does it mean? Basically when you were younger uh, you, were thought, you were taught to read out loud or to sub-vocalize the things that you were reading. For example, if you are reading a sentence, here I have a sash Mr. Mall International, while I read it, I was taught as a child to read out loud in my mind all the words that I'm reading. Mr. Mother International, every word. And this slows you down so much because uh, you will never be faster than your um, reading voice. Like you will never be faster as you speak. Uh, than you speak. So it's it slows you down a lot. So you need to start uh, going to remove slowly a little bit more a little bit more day after day with exercising the sub vocalization so it's something that you actually don't need 
uh, not even for comprehension, but how to reduce it. There are some techniques, for example, learn how to concentrate and focus on the sentence, but try not to focus on one word, but on the whole sentence. And try to use some letters, for example, the alphabet or some numbers as you read. For example, while you're reading, say in your mind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like a pace, uh, or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. So in this case, you will notice because your brain don't need to subcolorize to learn a word or to read it. It learns and reads the words no matter what. So learn how to, sub to stop subcolorization. Learn how to group words instead of reading just word per time. That means uh, learn how to, for example, in a sentence on a book, instead of your eyes just looking one word, then the second word, then the third word, then the fourth word, this is a lot of eye movement. This will slow you down. Learn how to use two or three movements or just one for every single sentence. So instead of just looking at a word, then a second, then the third, learn how to use as you imagine two lines that cross uh, between the page, across the page, uh, try to look at a sentence just two times, twice, like one at one third of the, of the sentence and one at the second third of the sentence. So tuck, 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 one, two, one, two. Your eyes have a wide span vision that can read all the other words even if you're focusing on just one. So even if you don't realize it's subconscious, you can read, even if you focus on just one word, you can read the other words here and the other words here. Widespan visualization is something you can also increase. So if you try to look on Google for visual span exercises, you will learn, you, will, you can exercise this thing. The fourth thing is this one, increase vision span by looking just the sentence in two uh, points. So basically it's the same thing of group words. Instead of just reading one word, read more sentences. These are the things. But I have also some other tips by reading the, um, having the course and watching some other videos that I want to tell you. For example, is free reading, what to do before reading. Learn how to set goals. So for example, if you wanna uh, learn something from a book, just set in your mind why you are reading this book. Why are you reading that? I, for example, have the book, Get Things Done. Why do I want to read Get Getting Things Done? Because I want to have a system to learn how to get things done. I want to exactly know when I finish this book how to be practical with tasks and manage tasks and calendars and reminders, etc. So set goals before you read. The second thing is take notes and memorize at the end of a chapter, not while reading. So just read before if you want to highlight, if it's something that you want to study, but take notes after you read the chapter. The third thing, choose the right books. Instead of just wasting time reading a lot of books of the, of the same things, search on Google for the best books for each uh, topic you want to learn, of course. Read for 15 minutes max before, uh, uh, before having a break. So it's studied that your mind will start a little bit having some problems in focusing after 45 minutes of reading. So remember that when you speed read, when you uh, read faster, you will comprehend more because you read faster and as you read faster, you need to focus more on what you are reading, but your brain will uh, decrease its concentration faster. So you have to start exercising speed reading to learn how to resist and last longer. The other things are very speed depending on the part of the book and the kind of the book. For example, uh, at the end or when you start, for example, a chapter, all the bold or italic words are important. So slow down a little bit when you are, uh, when you come across these uh, words, bold or italic, or for example, in the beginning of a paragraph or at the end of the paragraph or in the titles, or subtitles, 
uh, headlines, etc. These parts are important. So slow down on the first part of the paragraph and on the on the end part of a paragraph to because they are very important parts. So it's not necessary to speed read everything. Slow down on the important parts so that you can understand better. The other things are, yeah, slow down with titles, beginning of a paragraph, etc., etc. Ask yourself questions at the end of the chapter. If you wanna uh, uh, leverage a great recall, which means learning how to recall information from something that you have read. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm so uh, <laughs> I'm very I'm very tired in this period. Uh, just uh, learn how to ask questions. So uh, uh, sometimes in some kind of personal growth books or business books, there are some exercises at the end of the chapter or some reminders or summarize or I don't know, recap, etc. Some bullet points. Use those or ask questions to yourself about what you read. So what do I, what did I learn from this chapter? What are the main points that I learned? So this is very important. This is how to basically become better. But the second thing, very split depending on the part of the book and the kind of the book, okay? Remember that reading, remember that for the mindset is an interaction between the reader and the author through printed text. So don't focus on what you read exactly, but focus on the main thing, the concept you're reading. Learn as you would have the author of the book besides you and read with him. So learn that you are not reading words, you are reading concepts that you want to learn. And the last thing is after, read for ideas and concepts and not words. This is exactly what I just said. So uh, this is it. After applying all of these things, for example, there are certain tests that you can have online on how to measure your speed read. I tried it to read, in, to read a text. And before this, I was reading at 195 words per minute with a comprehension level of 73%, which is average, completely average. After finishing the course and exercising a little bit, I got to the point of 700 words per minute with a comprehension level of 80%. Is this crazy? I that's incredible. I had to share this skill. So this is it, guys. This is how to speed read. I think this is an incredible skill that anybody should learn at least. Uh, it's not something incredible. It's something that you can exercise as in, and it's very cool because you can learn so many more books and comprehend that com and like learn about that more. So I wanted to share this thing with you. Also, guys, I love the skill share uh website i'm not sponsored by them but i really love it so if you want to check it out i have the link down in uh, the description so there it is so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see you guys